Hello, this is Miss Calarrano. I'm currently teaching at La Mirada High School, R1. And this is a video on tips and alternative materials to create art. Um, I understand that you probably don't have these at home because you haven't taken the toolbox at home or you are unable to go buy it. But my lovely assistant, my niece, uh, Myla, since I'm teaching from home, is going to help me. And I would like to give you the following tips. So normally these type of pencils are and also, sketch you, pencils. And you're you're and bye -bye. I'm going to sleep. Going to house, going to house, going to house. Sketch pencils. You can just use a regular, a regular pencil. Uh, just, you know, a pen. It doesn't matter what color. Markers are also good when you want to be colorful. And if you prefer, you can also use color pencils if you have it. If you don't have any of those, maybe a younger sibling might have crayons. These are a good choice to do your sketches. Um, you know, just be creative. And chalk. My suggestion is that if you want to practice some, some drawing, have fun, you can go on your patio, sketch, have fun, then put your name, date it, take a picture, and submit it. Oh no! Oh, whoa, you forgot your brush? Hmm, there's always a chance that you can paint with Q-tips. And you don't have any paint? No problem. Make uh, a little bit of coffee, concentrated coffee, diluted in hot water, just, you know, about one third of a cup. Tea, like one third of a cup. And you can also make it super concentrated. If your mom might have um, food coloring, that's another alternative. Oh, I forgot. I cannot make any circles because I left my comp compass at in the classroom, use different size of lids. This will get you a perfect circle. I don't know what an each look looks like. Oh, but maybe your mom, maybe your sister, maybe somebody at home knows how to sew. So the measuring tape gives you, you know, measurements. I don't have a palette. No excuse that you cannot paint you might have a plate, a plastic container. Let's talk about papers now. Um, I ha already have a question of one of my students that said, no paper. Yeah, maybe you don't have the fancy watercolor paper, but at home, you're probably gonna be receiving mail like this, so you can open it up and get two nice pieces of paper or more depending on how big the envelope is. This was a letter and I'm planning to use this you know, in my sketches because it's a nice type of paper. And always your regular line paper, it's always um, something that you can practice on. An envelope. Open the envelope up and you can use this for your four thumbnail sketches. This was from a piece of a box. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you are going to get boxes mail home because you are not allowed to go out as much. So cut the box, cut it in pieces and then use that. This is one of my favorite ones because uh, paper bag, paper bags are so handy. And look at how big you can get uh, this type of paper. You probably can get maybe about four pieces of paper and this can also be used as a wrapping paper. 
So there you go. These are art it's alternative so materials. Oh, I forgot one. The box. If you get a box with something, open it up and you can totally get a bunch of pieces here that you can create your art. So be creative, be resourceful, be flexible. So if plan A doesn't work, go to plan B. So remember, do your best, do your best, and allow God to do the rest. Bye-bye, ciao, until next time.